Tony looks forward to any celebration or even just getting together with friends. It's all an excuse to revel in the beautiful views, modern California cuisine, and fresh flavors served up at his spot. He takes time for the drive to his dining destination on Avenue Alhambra in Half Moon Bay, and it's called Cafe Gibraltar. Cafe Gibraltar is really a place for foodies. Our food really appeals to them and also our remote location makes it feel as if we're a hidden treasure. My husband, Jose Luis, has an incredible passion for food and for creating it. Cafe Gibraltar is his expression of that passion. He dreams food, he lives it. My name is Jose Luis Ugalde. I am the chef owner of Cafe Gibraltar. I will call my type of cuisine a uh, produce-driven cuisine, um, which means that I use local uh, vegetables uh, from the local farms. So we have a crate of potatoes that they use dug them uh, early in the morning just for a cafe Gibraltar. Uh, beautiful, beautiful potatoes. We always try to have some vegan entrees, vegan appetizers, and definitely vegetarian most, most of the times. And uh, that's pretty much our, our goal right here at Cafe Gibraltar, to uh, stay local, you know, participate in the community. Jose Luis has an open kitchen, and when he's there, he can look out over the entire restaurant. He knows what's going on at every table. His greatest pleasure is to look out and see the satisfaction on somebody's face when they take a bite and do that mm moment of tasting those flavors. Okay, Tony, this is a, yeah, I mean, this is Half Moon Bay. It's a drive, and you've been doing it for a decade? I've been doing it for a decade. Um, the place I, you know, Cafe Gibraltar was where I took my wife for her first date, and um, it's actually quite an enjoyable drive over the hill. I mean, the views of the ocean, you know, the, uh, the windy roads, you could pretend that you're in some movie doing a chase scene. Um, after all, that is the reason why we drive cars, to drive on windy roads. <laughs> and besides, it's always interesting driving past you know, all the uh, florists with the uh, steel creatures. But it's, you know, a it wonderful... It is a gorgeous drive. It is, yeah. and it's a wonderful thing to look forward to at dinner at Cafe Gibraltar. Because it's just such a warm, welcoming place. And the food is just so full of flavor. I mean, um, one of my favorite things here is uh, this dish he calls a monti, which is a Turkish dish. It's, it's a dumpling. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just, he changes the filling uh, constantly. And I remember once we went in, it was uh, stuffed with uh, uh, shrimp and chicken. Mm -hmm. And with this yogurt sauce on the bottom, and you just bite into it, and just the, the, the flavors and the juices, it just comes out. And, you know, this gets, kind of gets calmed by the yogurt mm -hmm. a little bit, and you just can't wait to get a second so bite. So it's got a, a whole bunch of different influences, doesn't it, Cafe Gibraltar? I mean, the yeah. cuisine is, you'd almost say, Mediterranean, Californian, French, you know, mm -hmm. Mexican. There's a whole mm -hmm. mishmash of flavors. What did you have? Um, well, we sampled from the appetizer menu, and, you know, the, the, the list isn't extensive, but I think that's a reflection of the, the fact that that every dish seems to be completely inspired you know mm -hmm. like they really put a lot of thought into the ingredients and the combination of flavors um, I have the dumplings which uh, uh, which on um, this particular day were stuffed with chicken and mm -hmm. we love them okay. uh, my girlfriend went with me amazing romantic spot by the way major romance points for that one did you pop the question uh, not <laughs> yet. Oh, wow. but um, I could have because it's such an amazing place and it's a it, but we, I got to keep them all to myself because mm -hmm. she's vegetarian, but uh, we had some vegetarian options for her as well. And their soup is always uh, vegan yeah. soup. Yeah. Um, and it's, my mom's vegetarian, a practicing Buddhist, and every time we go home, she makes us make them. It makes us make them. Yeah. I saw you kind of jumping in. Well, Are you, you're not vegan, so. I, I'm not. I <laughs> love meat. And actually, I, it gets romance points, although I went there with a girlfriend of mine. Yeah. <laughs> we walked in, and uh, and there was a band playing, you know, sort of soft guitar, and uh, and they've got the, the low tables, you know, with the pillows where you can sit down. And I thought, I hope someone takes me here at some point. <laughs> and the food is absolutely amazing. I went for the five-course tasting oh, menu because I choice. could not choose. So if you get the five course tasting menu, both you and the other diner can choose five things. So we got a total of 10 items off of the menu and they were all excellent. 
What was your favorite? I mean, that, that's the way to go. You're saying yeah. go to the five courses, but oh, what, yeah. what should not they? They were all really distinctive. I have to say, the one that stands out the most for me is the Asobuco uh, Raviolo. Oh, yeah, when nice. you, you just get one, uh, at least in the tasting menu, it comes in this dish with this amazing sauce. The filling is, you know, traditional Asobuco with, you know, the, the wonderful beef. Um, uh, and, and the sauce, they have this, uh, this wonderful focaccia with sort of, um, uh, an onion balsamic mm -hmm. vinegar that mm -hmm. we were that we were dipping in and trying to be very careful yes. not we to overstuff ourselves. We made that mistake. It was so good. We were stuffed by the time our meal came. <laughs> yeah. So be warned. Just take it easy on the focaccia. Otherwise, you'll yeah. be stuffed. But it, it was really great. And did you put yeah. Tabasco on that too? Of course. <laughs> Actually, they got mad at me because I asked for Tabasco. They're like, no Pasco here. <laughs> and I have to say, I loved their hummus, which was different oh, than yes. any hummus that I've ever had. It mm. came in this warm skillet and with a, a sort of a side of olives, and the flavor was just just amazing with pine nuts on top of it and this bread that uh, again we probably ate too much of it but yeah. it, it was awesome. Speaking of bread and desserts and it, churros. Yes. Who, yeah. I, I had the churro and it was to die for and you know it's perfectly crispy and the dough you know is perfectly fried and uh, and the cinnamon sugar you know outside was amazing. It came with a chocolate dipping sauce which I wanted to be a little bit stronger but I was so happy with the churro and frankly I was so stuffed from you know the five course tasting menu and trying you know trying everything that you know it was probably good for it to be a little bit more mild. Take a break you needed a walk on the beach. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right Tony this is your spot give us a quick summary. Romantic great views great people great food five course Tasting menu, anything you want off the menu. All right. Can't beat it. Sarah? Yeah. Uh, try the five course tasting menu. It, this is definitely a place to go uh, if you'd like a special evening with incredibly memorable food and to create a couple of memories. All right, David, yeah. bring it home. Well worth the drive down Highway 1 and amazing environment and inspired food. Uh, loved it. That's All it. right. If you would like to try Cafe Gibraltar, it's on Avenue Alhambra at Palma in Half Moon Bay. The telephone number is 650-560-9039. It's open for dinner Tuesday through Sunday. Reservations are recommended, and the average tab per person without drinks is around $50.